hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl alicia and yes of course i'm back with another video now for today's video i'll be doing something a little bit different i will be doing a hair tutorial so yeah <laughs> before we get into the video if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe right now and turn on your post notifications so you will not miss an upload from me all right so if you want to see how i achieve this gorgeous look oh my god i'm loving these curls yeah i'm kind of feeling myself and all of that <laughs> all right so if you want to see how i achieve this look Stay tuned and just watch the video and remember guys to leave a like and a comment and you're also free to share the video. All right. Mwah. All right. So this is the wig that we'll be installing today. It is from Wow Ebony. It is 20 inches and it is their curly unit. As you can see, the wig comes with the elastic band, adjustable straps, and it has four combs, two on either side, one in the back and one at the crown. All right, so now we're going to put the wig on. And this wig came pre-plucked as well as um, bleached. As you can see, it looks amazing. Um, I did go in and bleach it um, <laughs> one more time. But it really didn't need it. I was just being extra, to be honest. All right, so now we are just situating the wig on our head and I'm just making sure that it fits around my ear properly because you do not want to have the wig sitting on your ear. It's going to be very annoying and it will not lay flat. So I am just clipping back the hair out of the way and ensuring that the wig is where it's supposed to be before I start gluing it down. Yeah, I have a lot of edges, guys, like my hair grows almost to my eyebrows so yeah <laughs> and you can see i have a lot of sideburns all right so what we'll be using today is the bed head um it is a holding spray and not glue because of my edges i cannot use glue because i would have to glue the lace almost to my eyebrows which i'm not gonna do so yeah so I'm spraying on the glue right now. I'm just using my fingers to um, comb it, kind of brush it into my sideburns because they are a lot. And guys, I just trimmed these um, probably like three weeks ago and they're already back. Yeah, so I'm spraying on two coats of the holding spray. And as you can see, I am wiping as I go along. So at the end of it, I won't have like um, a mess yeah so i am using the blow dryer now just to get it tacky and then i'm gonna start putting down the lace so i am adjusting it because based on how my hairline is i know it's not going to come ahead of my hairline i'm gonna have to finesse it um to blend in my hair line with the lace with the wig yeah so that's what i'm doing here and i'm trying to be careful not to um touch the glue itself so i am kind of carefully putting it down and then i put my fingers on the lace and not the glue all right and i'm just using my fingers to press it in yeah you, you want to be careful because if you touch it with your fingers and it is not dry, it is going to leave residue. It's going to get sticky and it's going to be a mess. All right. So I am having some issues with my sideburns as usual because they are a lot, but I love them and I don't really want to get rid of them. Yeah. So I'm trying to work with them. And then I'm just gluing back down the lace and I'm going to be using the blow dryer to get it down, to get it dry. And you want to use your blow dryer on cool or cold, whatever it says on your blow dryer. You do not want to use it on the heat setting because it is going to be very messy and leave a lot of residue. All right so as you can see it is still not sticking so yeah i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna go to the other side to adhere that side down 
I'm gonna start spraying and I'm gonna be using two coats as well on this side and the cleaning as I go along because I know that the lace is not going to come um, in front of my hairline so I have an idea where it stops because yeah I've been doing my hair for quite some time now so I will wipe away the holding spray from that section before it dries because I will be blending that section into um, the lace yeah so I'm wiping along and then I'm going to use my blow dryer just to not to get it fully dry or else it won't stick just to dry it a little bit until it becomes tacky and then I'm going to stretch the hair and place it where I want it to go using the rat tail comb to kind of press it into the glue press the lace into the glue for a seamless look and then you want to go go ahead and use the comb just to comb through the hair if any glue gets on the hair you do not want it to dry and get stiff so you comb through as you go along to help to prevent that all right and as you can see the hairline looks so good oh my god i do think that um it is a little bit lighter than my complexion you guys will see that in a bit when the glue dries yeah but there's an easy way to remedy that i totally forgot to um use my lace tint so here i'm just going over any parts that i see um that are lifting or need a little bit more glue and as usual you clean as you go along and i'm trying to get um my side burns down i think this time it should be okay sometimes you have to apply a little bit more glue on the side burns especially if you have a lot like i do yeah one time will not do the trick because this is not glue this is holding spray all right so i'm just going over everything to make sure that everything is glued down and i'm using my blow dryer to get it dry and then I always have to clean up afterwards. So wherever the glue runs down on my face or um, where my natural hair is, I have to clean it up. And I'm just using water and a cotton swab. You want to get as close to the lace as possible, but you do not want to touch the lace. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am just wiping away any extra holding spray that that is still in my natural hair and just basically cleaning up the hairline going all around and then i will just use my rag to get away um um to wipe away any moisture i'm just dabbing at it and not wiping really you do not want um any water to get on your lace as it will cause lifting all right and i'm seeing here that the lace looks a tad bit lighter than my skin but it's not that bad and then the lighting doesn't help the lighting tends to make it look worse than it actually is because if you can see here it looks pretty good it's all blended in and yeah it's okay so now i'm just putting my hair in a ponytail because i will be using my handy dandy um elastic band just to tie down my edges and as you can see i was feeling myself right there <laughs> so i'm gonna be tying down my edges um just to get it to blend in some more and just to melt that lace into my skin honey yeah you do not want to tie too tight where it gives you a headache but you want to tie it tight enough that it's actually effective all right and i don't want to i don't like tying it tight because sometimes it leaves a mark on your forehead that i don't really like so after 15 minutes i am back and this is what it looks like as you can see honey it is all melted like what lace yeah it looks so good as i said the lighting will make it seem as if there's a halo where um there actually isn't one 
you'll see um when in the intro you guys will see when i do the intro next to um the natural light you'll see that it is all good and all melted in so i'm just using my wax stick to lay down any flyaways that i have any short hairs around the parting and guys this parting looks so good look at that it looks like skin oh my god and that lace is melted all right so i'm gonna be using some water as well to help to slick it down i could not find my uh my brush so i am using a a rat tail comb <laughs> to brush it in and now we are moving on to the baby hairs not everyone like baby hairs but yeah so after parting it out and trimming it down i am using um my curl mousse um i think it's the olive ors brand i use that to slit down my baby hairs i do not like to use glue or the uh, or, or gel because um it tends to get white when it gets wet so i don't use that and then the mousse gives it a more natural look it doesn't look that um what would you say that pasted down on your skin it looks more natural all right so these are the hair yeah 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 my baby hairs i love them they look so good and guys it's just the magic of recording it took me a little while to get them to look that good where i was pleased i'm kind of anal about my baby hairs <laughs> so now i am moving on to the next side and um this is what they look like after slicking them down and i was feeling myself and I'm going to go back in with the elastic band just to further melt in the lace and also to um, slit down the baby hairs. Yeah, just to get them set into place. And yeah, that looks pretty tight. Oh my God. So now guys, look at this hair like I was totally feeling myself and I think I have a right to. It looks good, right? Oh my God, the hair looks so good. Look at it, look at it. And guys, I did not put anything in the hair. All I did was to wash it. This is a natural curl, natural sheen, no products at all in the, in the hair. Like, and the ends look so healthy. Look at it. I am just feeling myself here like, mm -mm -mm. wow, Ebony. You did good, honey. You did good. Yeah. Now I'll be using my fructis, my Garnier Fructis um, Silk and Shine Serum. And just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Just a tad bit, just to add a little bit of sheen to the hair. I am... I will not be doing the wet look today. I'm going to leave the hair in its natural state because I am really feeling those curls, honey. So, yeah, I'm just rubbing in the serum just to give it a little bit of sheen. And I'm just checking the edges. I'm just checking the ends as I go along to make sure that they are moisturized and that they do not look dry, which they don't, as you can see. The hair looks very luscious and bouncy and nice. It looks so good. 20 inches, it looks pretty long too for curly hair. All right, so here I'll be showing you how it looks from the back. And as you can see, honey, mm -mm -mm, bouncy and nice. It looks so good. Now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> taking off the um elastic band and as you can see honey that lace is melted look at that what lace can you see the lace i can't <laughs> oh my god it feels good when your lace comes out good guys yeah but for um i'm just gonna be using a little bit of powder just to make sure that, especially the sideburns, just to cover up that residue a bit and to blend it, it, blend it in a little bit more. Actually, I didn't even really need it, but I was just being extra here, guys. Yeah. So just a little bit of powder to make sure that everything's blended in good. And I use the LA um, Girl con Contour Palette that I bought from the 
the dollar store yeah it's in one of my halls and as you can see i am feeling myself like what lace can you see the lace i sure can't <laughs> the hair looks so good and guys it, it feels so light and bouncy and soft it is just yeah all right guys so this is how the hair turned out this is the final result i'm loving it um it's so bomb and i was totally feeling myself <laughs> i will be leaving the items in the description that i use and i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe Bye.